Today we're going to demonstrate some medieval math by showing how to draw the entire floor plan of a medieval cathedral exactly the scale using no measurements and no numbers, the same way that scholars did way back in the Middle Ages in the 1200s and the 1300s. To do this we're going to use two tools. One is what's called a square. All this is is a right angle. We're not going to use any of the measurements, just the right angle on here. So we can get straight lines and right angles. The other thing we're going to use is what's called a divider, which is this. You use this to draw circles, basically, and that's all it does. If you don't have one of these, you can also use string to do the same basic thing. All you do is tie a pen to it and basically draw circles. The divider is a little bit more accurate. So, we're going to start with the cloisters, which is a square that's attached to the cathedral, and this is where the monks live. So we'll start by just drawing lengths for two of our sides. Nice and easy. And next we'll just find this last corner and fill in the square. Just like that. Now I have a screw. The next thing we're going to do is divide this in half from corner to corner. Okay. What this gives us is if each side is unit length 1, whatever that happens to be, the side of this hypotenuse by Pythagorean's theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, gives us square root of 2. So the ratio between the hypotenuse and the side is 1 to the square root of 2. And this entire cathedral, the Noah Cathedral for example, is based on this one ratio, 1 to the square root of 2. So the side of the square is going to be our base unit, and every other part of the cathedral is going to be a ratio between this base unit and every other unit based on this 1 to the square root of 2. Okay, so how do I actually do that? I'm going to start by taking this distance and extending it to get the distance of the nave. Just like that. Now the nave is a large area of the cathedral where the front doors are, and where most of the people go into worship, all the common people. So every cathedral is in the shape of a cross. So the base of the cross is the nave, that's the largest part. That's where the common people go. There's no benches, so they have to stand. Then you have the transept, which is the crossing piece of the cross, and then the choir, which is the top of the cross, over here. So we just made the base of the cross. The next thing we're going to figure out is the distance from the front door at the base of the nave to the high altar where the priest performs other rituals, like the Eucharist. To do that, we're going to follow the same process. We're first going to make a square, and then find a diagonal. So, we're going to like side down. I'm just going to extend this up here. And fill in the square. Just like that. So now we have our square, so next we're going to calculate the diagonal. Draw the diagonal, so I think really calculate. I'm just going to draw a portion of it, we don't need the whole thing. So here's our diagonal, okay? So now we're going to do the same thing here, we're going to extend that diagonal down to calculate the distance.
just like that. So that gives us a length from the nave to the high altar. So we're going to extend this line out a little bit. Just like that. We're going to leave a gap here because someone here is the transept. But we know this distance. The next thing we're going to do is calculate the width of the cathedral. So this distance here. So to that we're going to do the opposite process. First we're going to find the diagonal and then we're going to find the square based on the diagonal. So to do that, I draw a quarter circle, just like that. Get the right angle. So, now we know this is exactly one quarter of a circle. Now we need to find the midpoint of that arch, because this is going to be one corner of the square, the other corner is going to be the midpoint along this arc. So to do that, let's call medieval trick. Just take one point on the corner, draw a line on arc, repeat on the opposite corner, same thing, and these cross. Now you do is draw a line from where they cross, your opposite corner. Just like that. So now we know this point is going to be the corner of our square, the other corner is right here. Now we're just going to fill in that square. So now I know the width. So the next thing we're going to do is find the end, which is always a semicircle. So for this, we're just going to find the distance and draw a semicircle. like that. It's slightly off. You can get it a little bit better than that. But for us it works. And there you go. So now we have the end. So next we're going to find a transept. So the way you find a transept is this way. First we're going to find a square. Use that to find a diagonal. And use that to figure the distance. That's the distance of the transept across. Extend that down here. So that forms a square. Okay. Next, we're going to calculate the diagonal. Which again, is this line right here. And extend that out to get the length of the transept. Just like that. And then we basically fill in. So we have a transept. So the last thing remaining is to transpose these measurements onto the other side to fill in the other side of the cathedral. So we'll start with this. Transfer that measurement over. And we're just going to do a width. That measurement. And we are filling in. <laughs> 
So I have an opposite transept. Next we'll finish off the nave. There we go. And that's our medieval cathedral. We have our cloisters, our nave, our transept, and our choir. So let's see how accurate we came. This is the actual floor plan of the North Cathedral. You can compare this to this, and almost identical. So I do the exact floor plan of the cathedral, exactly the scale, using no numbers and no measurements. Took this square, the diagonal of this square, extended it down to get this length. Made a square of this length, extended that down to get this length. Figured out this diagonal here, use that to calculate the square to get the chapel. Then made a square out of this opening, extended it out to get the length, and transpose it to the other side. So, using nothing but a right angle for the divider, or if you wanted to, a piece of string, and knowing this one to the square root two ratio, you can do an entire medieval cathedral exactly the scale using no numbers and no measurements.